What's good, crew? It is your boy, the High Pass Sneaker Beast, and we are back with another video today. And today we're going to be talking about a topic that I hear about quite often. We're going to be talking about a topic that I actually get a lot of questions about. So I want to make sure we go ahead and talk to you guys about it today. And that question is, is it okay to purchase used sneakers? Now, I have my own opinion on this, but I know that there are some people who are on this side of the fence, which is never. And then there's some people on this side of the fence, which is, yeah, of course. So before we go ahead and do that, before we go ahead and get into this video, I want to make sure that if you have not already subscribed to the channel, we are on the road to 1,200 subscribers. So I want to make sure that if you have not subscribed to the channel, that you please subscribe to the channel right now for more sneaker content just like this. If you're interested in sneaker news and sneaker reviews and everything in between, you are definitely in the right place. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you guys notice the video that's playing in the back, that is one of my adventures of going to thrift stores. So if you know anything about me, or if you have been on the channel before, you know that I do think that it is an incredible idea to purchase used sneakers. Now, of course, it does depend on a lot of different factors. There are a lot of different places that you can go to purchase used sneakers, such as thrift stores, Goat, or even certain apps like OfferUp, but it does really depend on certain things. So we're gonna talk about a couple of those things, and then we're gonna answer some of these questions to see if it's actually okay to purchase used sneakers. So of course, because we're not at a thrift store right now, we can't really go into a deep dive, but I would like for you guys to actually go ahead and go back and take a look at some of my thrift store videos to see that I have found some very, very good condition pairs in thrift stores. It may not have been pairs that I purchased for myself. I did actually purchase those pairs and flip those pairs at a profit. So if that's something that you're interested in, it is another great way to purchase a used pair of sneakers. I know that we have a lot of these sneaker events and things like sneaker con. When you go to these places and you go to the tables with DS pairs, everyone knows that everyone is gonna be taxing you at an incredible rate. So I almost never recommend going to tables with only DS pairs because half the time you're gonna be paying even a lot more than market and I just don't think that that's a smart thing. So I always say if you go to a sneaker con or event like that, you wanna make sure you find the used table. Now there are a couple of different factors that we wanna take a look at. We wanna take a look at condition. We always wanna take a look at the condition of the shoe itself. We wanna make sure that it's not in any really poor condition. There isn't a lot of heel drag, yellowing, creasing, scuffs, dirt, and things of that nature. First pair we're gonna take a look at is actually gonna be the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. And I actually noticed this before, so this is kind of why I wanna take a look at it with you guys right now. Now, if you guys look, I'm a, I'm a size 13. So let's go ahead and take a look at the size 13. So for the size 13, it looks like it's about $376 brand new. But if we go ahead and we look into some of the used pairs, we see a pair for 250, which has a damaged box. I'm not sure if that's something that I'd be interested in because who knows, let's just say you want to flip it or you want to sell it at another time. Then you have an issue with the damaged box that you have to deal with. So if I could buy a pair, a used pair with a at least good condition box, I'd rather do that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this pair for $339, which is only about $40 away from actual market. So I'm not sure if that's even a good idea. But we can see here, man, it's got a lot of different creasing here. Uh, it has creasing in the shoe there. It has, you know, some scuffs and scratches over here. So this is definitely not a pair that I would be interested in already off the top. Now, if we get down to the pair that looks like it's actually went away but if we get down to the pair that it actually looks like there's some good possibility to purchase this pair not even this pair because there's a lot of dirt here if you guys see on this toe on this shoe there's a lot of dirt but if we actually go ahead and we get down to the pair that's about $393 again now we've gotten down to a pair that's good it's $393 but we already know market is $376 so why would we pay $20 more for a used sneaker this pair is of course in pretty good condition but of course it's not brand new. And of course it's gonna be uh, some issues, some flaws. Doesn't look like there's a ton of flaws or issues here, but we know it's a used pair. Why not just purchase a brand new pair for much cheaper? So you always wanna take a look at market and what is going on with the shoe. Is there a lot of different issues with like scrapes and scuffs and creasing and dirt and things like that? But let's go ahead and take a look at a different pair. This is a pair that I'm actually looking at right now um, that I might actually pull the trigger on here. And we're gonna take a look at a pair of bread fours. And of course, we're gonna take a look at the 2019 with the Nike Air on the back. So let's take a look at this. So this pair in a size 13 is going for about, 
going for about $650 brand new. So of course, I don't mind owning a used pair of sneakers. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what kind of deal we can find on a used pair of red fours in a size 13. So if we take a look at the used pairs off top, we already know we are not going for this first pair right here. This is ridiculous, it's $139. I'm not even sure why it's here, but you'll get things like that. Then we have another pair here for about $345. It looks like it's in better condition, but I already see some yellowing right here. I see some yellowing there, so that would be a no for me. There's a lot more creasing that I'm that I'm really interested in here. Yeah, if you guys can see there, there's a lot of creasing on the toe box there. So I'm definitely out on those, but we can keep looking. Let's see if there's another pair here. So we have another pair for 350. Still looks like there's a lot of creasing on the toe area there. Not something I'm super, yeah, this creasing is really bad here. So if you guys see that, that's obviously something we're not interested in, but looks like this pair right here for 375 looks a little bit better. The pictures look like they may be a little bit darker, so I can't really see a lot of decreasing. And that's another thing that you want to take a look at is having really, really good pictures. Like this picture here, it looks like the shoe was in perfect condition, but of course, that's really, really dark lighting. So you don't really know what you're looking at there. So I would pass on that for that reason. Now we have a pair here for about $399 which looks okay, it actually looks okay. It's a little further away, but then again, we see here, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, this pair for $400. So this pair for $400 seems to be in really good lighting right here. There's a little bit of scuffing, it looks like on the, on the piece there, but I'm okay with that, just a little bit okay with that. There's no creasing at all, it looks like in a toe box. Looks like the heels, there's no heel drag, there's no issues there. That's a quick cleanup. So this will be a pair that I would actually be interested in. And look, we all, we saved $200. This pair looks like it's going for $400. And of course, you can always shoot an offer and see what happens. You never know what's gonna happen if you don't actually shoot an offer. But again, that's a pair for $400. We can go down maybe to even 500 to see if we could save a little bit, still save a little bit of money, but get a more close to perfect pair. So even if we were interested in paying about $500, this pair looks like it's in really good condition. Uh, you can always shoot an offer, like I said, there's no creasing here. The heels look great. It's even less dirty, so for about 100 extra dollars, you can get an almost perfect pair. But this is why I say I believe it's absolutely okay to purchase used sneakers. If you're interested in purchasing used sneakers or you're kind of on the fence about purchasing used sneakers, you definitely want to ask yourself, why? Are you okay with owning a pair that someone has already owned? Some people are just not. And that's totally fine. I definitely understand that. I like to own a lot of pairs for the first time myself. But this pair I've had before, it just got really beat up. It's an older pair. So I'm kind of okay with owning a pair that someone else has owned, especially if it's in as good a condition as we saw with that Red 4. But then on the other hand, if you're okay with wearing new sneakers, then the market is that much more open for you. You can go into a lot of different situations knowing that you don't have to pay asking price for everything. Because we know with sneakers, asking price gets really high very quick. So I hope that was okay for you. Again, at the end of the day, I think it's a very good decision to look for hype pairs that you may be able to find at a cheaper price. Now, I don't think that a lot of times when you're looking at GR pairs that you need to go out and buy a used pair because you can probably afford to you know, pay market for those. But this is more in the line of hype pairs, like a pair of bread boards that's running $700 right now. I'm more comfortable paying $400 for a pair and maybe shooting an offer for $350 to see if they accept that versus outright paying $650 for a pair that I don't wanna pay that much for. We know retail is like what? $225 or something like that. So that's a completely different story. But yeah, I hope this was able to help you guys, man. If you guys are interested in used sneakers, definitely take a look at GOAT. Definitely take a look at your uh, your local thrift store. And even sometimes you can take a look at places like OfferUp. Now I have shot videos that say absolutely not. Do not use OfferUp. But if you purchase through the app and they come back fake or something like that, you can always get your money back. I know with eBay, eBay is probably the best for sneakers right now because they do an authenticity guarantee on a lot of their sneakers, but I have heard some horror stories about that. So I will always say stick to go as your first option. If you still think that it's too expensive, then maybe it's just not the time. Maybe you need to wait a little bit longer and see if prices dip down for you. But as always, man, it is your boy, the Hype Pace Sneaker Beast. I really appreciate you guys watching the video today. If you're new to the family, 
Welcome. If you're OG crew, you already know I love you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so already. Join me on the live cop. I will be live for a lot of cops this month, man. Join me for a live cop and let's go ahead and spread the W's, manifest the W's all over the place. But until next time, you already know, man, it is your boy, the high-paced sneaker beast. I'm going.